right, well, welcome to our sunrise service this morning, and uh, we will uh, begin in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for bringing us here to the sunrise service on resurrection morning. Help us to remember uh, what your son Jesus has done for us in dying on the cross, being buried, and rising from the dead. Help us to celebrate that. Help us to worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's turn our hymnals to number 277, or 247, 247, letter D, letter D. Tell me the story of Jesus, write on my heart every word. Tell me the story of Jesus, write on my heart every word. Precious, sweetest that ever was heard. Tell how the angels in chorus sang as they welcomed his birth. Glory to God in the highest, peace and good tidings to earth. Tell me the story of Jesus. Jesus, write on my heart every word. Tell me the story most precious, sweetest that ever was heard. Fasting alone in the desert, tell of the days that are past. How for our sins he was tempted, yet was triumphant at last. Tell of the years of his labor, tell of the sorrow he bore. He was despised and afflicted, homeless, rejected, and poor. Tell me the story of Jesus, right on my heart every word. Tell me the story most precious, sweetest that ever was heard. Tell of the cross where they nailed him, writhing in anguish and pain. Tell of the grave where they laid him, tell how he liveth again. story so tender, clearer than ever I see. Stay, let me weep while you whisper, love paid the ransom for me. Tell me the story of Jesus, write on my heart every word. Tell me the story most precious, sweetest that ever was heard. Number 17. Number 17. There's no song that I think summarizes the gospel better. And that is one day, one day. And that is letter C, letter C. One day when heaven was filled with his praises, one day when sin was as black as could be, Jesus came forth to be born of a virgin. Dwelt among men, my example is he. Living he loved me, dying he saved me. Buried he carried my sins far away. Rising he justified freely forever. One day he's coming, oh glorious day. One day they led him up Calvary's mountain. One day they nailed him to die on the tree. Suffering anguish, despised and rejected. Bearing our sins, my Redeemer is He. Living He loved me, dying He saved me. Buried He 
carrying my sins far away. Rising, he justified, freely forever. One day he's coming, oh glorious day. One day the grave, one day the grave could conceal him no longer. One day the stone rolled away from the door. Then he arose over death he had conquered. Now is a sin in my Lord evermore. Living he loved me, dying he saved me. Buried he carried my sins far away. Rising he justified freely forever. One day he's coming, oh glorious day. One day the trumpet will sound for his coming. One day the skies with his glories will shine. Wonderful day, my beloved one's bringing. Glorious Savior, this Jesus is mine. Living he loved me, dying he saved me. Buried he carried my sins far away. Rising he justified freely forever. One day he's coming, oh glorious end. Number 16, our prayer as we come to the scripture reading today. That's letter, uh, letter D, letter D. King of my life, I crown thee now. Lead me to Calvary, lead me to Calvary. King of my life, I crown thee now, thine shall the glory be. Lest I forget thy thorn crown brow, lead me to Calvary. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony. Lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. Show me the tomb where thou wast laid, tenderly mourned and wept. Angels in robes of light array, guardest thee whilst thou slept. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. Let me like Mary through the gloom come with a gift to thee. Show to me now the empty tomb, lead me to Calvary. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. May I be willing, Lord, to bear Daily my cross for thee, even the cup of grief to share, thou hast poured all for me. Lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. Kids, we'll come back in just a minute. One of the things I like to do uh, for sunrise service is simply just read through the scriptures. And uh, this is a book that I like to read with a guy by the name of uh, Woodrow and uh, Immortal Words of Christ and the Apostles. And what he does is he takes our King James Version, takes the four Gospels, and puts it all together into one narrative. And so, uh, that's just, you know, the, the scripture says we ought to give attention to reading. And uh, sometimes we just need to hear the word of God speak for itself and what it has to say to the church. This section is called the cross. 
And when they had sung in him, Jesus went forth with his disciples into the Mount of Olives. And they came to a place called Gethsemane. And he kneeled down and fell to the ground and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and elders of the people. And they laid hands on Jesus and took him and led him away to Caiaphas, the high priest. All the disciples forsook him and fled. As soon as it was day, the elders and chief priests and scribes came together and led him into their council. And they sought witness against him to put him to death and found none. Many bear false witness, but their witness agreed not together. And the high priest stood up and asked him, saying, Answerest thou nothing? But Jesus held his peace. Again the high priest asked, Art thou the Christ, the Son of the blessed? And Jesus said, I am. And ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes and said, what need we any further? Ye have heard the blasphemy. What think ye? And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. And when they had bound him, they delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Pilate said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. Pilate therefore said, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest, I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Then said Pilate to the chief priest and to the people, I find no fault in this man. And as soon as he knew that Jesus belonged unto Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was at Jerusalem at the time. When Herod saw Jesus, he questioned him in many words, but Jesus answered him nothing. And the chief priest and scribe stood and vehemently accused him. And Herod, with his men of war, set him at naught and mocked him and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe and sent him again to Pilate. Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people, said unto them, Ye have brought this man unto me as one that perverteth the people. And behold, I, having examined him before you, have found no fault in him touching those things whereof ye accuse him. No, nor yet Herod. I will therefore chastise him and release him. But they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. And he said unto them the third time, Why, what evil has he done? I find in him no fault at all. But ye have a custom, that I should release unto you one at the Passover. Will ye therefore that I release unto you the king of the Jews? Then cried all again, saying, not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. When he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him away into the hall called Praetorium and gathered unto him the whole band. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe and planted a crown of thorns or planted a crown of thorns and put it about his head and began to salute him. Hail, King of the Jews. And they smote him on the head with a reed and did spit upon him and bowing their knees worshipped him. And after that they had mocked him. They took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him, and led him away to crucify him. As they led him away, they laid hold upon one Simon, a Cyrenian, and on him they laid the cross, that he might bear it after Jesus. And they went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, the place called Calvary. They gave him to drink wine mingled with myrrh, but he received it not. And it was the third hour, and they crucified him. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. 
And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. The writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. It was written in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand, another on the left. The place was nigh to the city, and the people stood beholding. The rulers also with them derided him, and the soldiers mocked him. Likewise also the chief priests with the scribes and elders, and they that passed by reviled him. And one of the malefactors railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other, answering, rebuked him, saying, We indeed receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to his disciple, Behold thy mother. At about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? After this, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, he saith, I thirst. And they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon hyssop and put it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And when he had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Amen. I'll ask our singers to come back up here. And we'll sing some songs about the cross, remembering what we've just read. Number 10. Number 10. All right, letter F. Jesus, keep me near the cross. This is our prayer as we think about uh, what happened the week before Easter. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There a precious fountain free to all a healing stream flows from Number two. Near the cross, a trembling soul, love and mercy found me. There, the bright and morning star sheds its beams around.
Number four, thinking about the cross and our response. Letter F again. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. <clears throat> when I survey the Fourteen, our response to the cross. Letter A. Letter A. Kneel at the cross, Christ will meet you there. Number fourteen. Kneel at the cross, Christ will meet you there. Come while he waits for you. Listen to his voice. Leave with him your care and be in life anew. sparkling cup, trust only in his love. Kneel at the cross, leave every care. Kneel at the cross, Jesus will meet you there. Thank you, kids. We've just read about the cross, and now we read about the victory. The victory. It says, When the even was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea named Joseph, an honorable counselor, a good man, and a just, who himself was Jesus' disciple. 
And Joseph went in boldly unto Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. And he took it down and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, a sepulcher that was hewn in stone wherein never man before was laid. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulcher and departed. And the women also from Galilee followed and beheld the sepulcher and how his body was laid and returned and prepared spices and ointments. The next day the chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, command that the sepulcher be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples steal him away and say, He is risen from the dead. Pilate said, Ye have a watch, go your way, make it as sure as you can. So they went and made the sepulcher sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. Now upon the first day of the week, very, very early in the morning, the women from Galilee came into the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door? And they found the stone rolled away. And they entered in and found not the body of Jesus. They departed quickly and did run to bring his disciples' word. As they went, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there they shall see me. When they were going, behold, some of the watch came into the city and showed unto the chief priest all the things that were done. Now when Jesus was risen... He appeared first to Mary Magdalene, and she went and told them that had been with him as they mourned and wept. When they heard that he was alive and had been seen, their words seemed as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran into the sepulcher, and stooping down, he beheld the linen cloths lying by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. Two of them went that day to a village called Emmaus, and Jesus drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holden that they should not know him. He expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself, and he went in to tarry with them. As he sat at meat, he took bread and blessed it and brake it and gave it to them. And their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. The same day at evening, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said, Why are you troubled? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself, for a spirit has not flesh and bones. These words I spake unto you while I was yet with you that all these things must be fulfilled which were written in the law and the prophets, law of Moses and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations. And ye are witnesses of these things. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Then said he again, Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so send I you. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins ye retain, they are retained. And he upbraided them with their unbelief, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. But Thomas, one of the twelve, was not with them. And after eight days again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, 
Thrust thy hand into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. When they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Feed my lambs, feed my sheep. Many other signs did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. He is risen. Amen. Let's turn our hymnals again. Come on up here, kids. Some songs of victory and resurrection. Number 34. Number 34 in our hymnal. Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Which means praise the Lord. Number 34. Let her see. Let her see. I'll come in a little closer, baby. Christ the Lord is risen today. Ah, alleluia. Sons of men and angels say, Ah, 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 ah. 